Hey guys, it's Jaden over BHA here bringing you another video. Now, I, I don't know if you saw my video earlier this week on uh, on monitoring your uh, Mac computer in Home Assistant with glances, but I thought it'd be cool to uh, also show you how you can use glances to monitor all of your Docker containers. I really like glances, uh, at least so far. I love all the uh, information that you can pull from it. So let's check it out. So the Docker install is pretty easy. In fact, it's probably easier overall than even the setup we did on the uh, on the Mac. So if you if you didn't try that one out on the Mac, then this one may be even easier for you to set up and play around with. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we're going to uh, just install Glances in a Docker container. Uh, we'll be using Docker Compose. Once it's installed and up and running, then we'll add our glances sensors into Home Assistant. And then just lastly, as an added bonus, uh, just like we did before, we'll add the glances panel iframe on the side there so that you can access uh, the full uh, web interface of glances. Let's get started. Uh, so uh, we're going to edit our uh, docker compose.yaml file here and uh, find us an open spot. We're just going to call this glances. We'll set the container name to glances as well. Let's uh, see, a restart will be always. Uh, for the image. It's a Nico Largo slash glances. Now for volumes, we need to make sure that it has access to all of the Docker containers. Uh, so we'll add a slash var slash run slash docker dot sock colon slash var slash run slash docker dot sock. For ports, uh, we're going to add 61.208 and 61.209. Uh, so here we'll do a 61.208-61.209 colon 61.208-61.209. Environment, we need to set it as a web server. Uh, so it'll be glances underscore OPT for option. Make sure that's all in caps and then equals dash w. Now in the various uh, documentation that I've seen, they had the dash w in parentheses. I could not get it to work that way. It was uh, throwing errors. So when I took the parentheses out, it seems to work. Once you have all that in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And then of course, we just need to uh, do the full install here. So we'll do a sudo docker compose up dash d. And this will do the download and install. And I'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Once that's done, we're going to jump over to Portainer and make sure everything looks okay. Here we are in Portainer. We'll click on Glances. That's our new container we just created. Everything looks good there. Got the correct ports open. Got our, uh, our volume set up. Logs show that it is up and running on 61208. So I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and just jump over to the web interface and take a look at it. So this will be the uh, host IP of our, our machine, colon 61208. Takes us to the, to the web interface here. And as you can see, it's listing out all of the Docker containers that we have running. It uh, shows how much CPU and memory each of them are using. It's also showing uh, CPU, memory, and swap of, uh, of the host machine as well. So tons of information here. Very cool. Now that we got that running, let's jump over to the next step. All right, so we want to add uh, some sensors into Home Assistant. Now, I don't know if you remember all the different choices we had. Uh, as you can see here, there's lots of uh, different things that you can add. Not all of them, obviously, are pertaining to uh, Docker, uh, but some of these will show uh, for the host machine. And then, of course, there are a few down here at the bottom that uh, are specifically for your Docker containers. All right, so I'm going to edit my sensors.yaml file. 
find uh, an open spot here underneath my other two uh, glance glances configurations. So of course the platform will be glances. Uh, my name for this one, I'm just going to call it Docker. For the host, it'll be uh, the IP address of my Docker machine, so it's 10.10.10.8. .10 .10 uh, again, make sure you have the version set correctly if you want it to work. Uh, this is a new install, so it is running version 3. For resources, I'm just going to add those uh, Docker. Um, I'm just going to add the ones for Docker. So uh, let's see, we'll see Docker underscore active. Docker underscore CPU underscore use and Docker underscore memory underscore use. And you can add some of the other ones. They will be displayed for the host machine uh, that's running all the Docker containers. But uh, just for the tutorial of this video, we're just going to add a few. So um, once you have what you want in there, go ahead and save it. Then of course we're going to restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. Uh, so under configuration general, we'll go ahead and check the config just to make sure everything is set up correctly. And then we'll hit restart. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and test this out. On my uh, test page here, we'll add a, another entities card. I'm going to call mine Docker Stats. And then we'll select these here. We got Docker containers active, Docker containers CPU, and Docker container memory or RAM. Go ahead and save that. So as you can see, it lists out uh, how many Docker containers we currently have running. Uh, the combined CPU, which seems a little off, uh, over 100% is uh, pretty impressive. I don't even think that's possible. So I'm not sure why the CPU is not showing correctly. Uh, that 12% looks a little bit better. Uh, I'm not sure why it started out kind of high, but it looks like it's back down to normal now. Displays the uh, RAM used as well. Now that we have all those in there, let's jump over to the last step. All right, so just as an added bonus, we were going to add the uh, Glances web interface as a panel iframe. So uh, we'll edit our uh, panel iframe.yaml file here. All right, we'll find us an open spot down there at the bottom. I'm going to stick with the same naming scheme here. So we'll just say docker underscore glances. Uh, for the title, uh, I'm going to call this one glances dash docker. Now for the URL, uh, it's going to be uh, the IP of the uh, Docker host machine. So HTTP colon slash slash 10.10.10.8 colon 61.208. And then for the icon, uh, we're going to use a uh, Docker icon. So we'll say MDI colon Docker. Once we have all that in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And then, of course, we'll jump back over here to uh, restart Home Assistant one last time. So under configuration general, we'll check the config. Everything looks good, so we'll go ahead and restart. Give that a second to come back up. And as you can see, now we have an entry for glances-docker on the side over there. We'll click on that. Bam, there's all of our Docker stats. We're still in Home Assistant. Got the nice little panel iframe there. Very cool. That's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, Definitely a lot easier to set all this up versus the one on the Mac side. We don't have to create any log on or startup scripts or anything like that. In Docker, it just runs, so it works out great. Uh, if you haven't checked out Glances yet, definitely give it a look. Like I said, pretty much anything that will run Python should be able to run Glances, so uh, definitely worth taking a look. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, we uh, installed Glances in a Docker container using Docker Compose. Uh, once that was done, then we added our Glances sensors in Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, as an added bonus, we added Glances uh, web interface as a panel iframe on the side there. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, definitely check out Glances. Again, please, it is very cool. Uh, definitely worth taking a look. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. 
as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.